Hey guys, it's Natalia and today I just want to give a quick little intro to this video before we get into it So if you saw my last video or if you follow me on social medias, then you know that I am launching my own brand this upcoming Friday the 26th of June 2020 so if they are watching this after it then it's already up and live and you can go shop there but I've been documenting the process of just starting everything making samples just doing all the work creating the website all these things I've just been kind of filming behind the scenes of just me setting everything up because it's been a month to two month long process of me really going into it. I didn't start filming everything until I was a little bit more invested into it already. So there's some stuff from the beginning that I wish I would have filmed but I didn't. But most of it I did film and I just wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can kind of see the process, see the journey. I've learned a lot over the past month or so on just business stuff and I'm sure there's a lot for me to learn even more so after all of this. So I just wanna show you guys kind of where my life has been, what I've been up to, and yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get into the video because I, it's probably gonna be a long one. So let's get into it. So today is May 27th. I actually have a lot of stuff done already. I just have not filmed because I keep forgetting to. But guys, I'm doing it. I am starting my brand. I am figuring it out and I'm so, so, so excited. So I want to show you guys what I got. The past few days, I have been ordering a bunch of stuff. I ordered business cards. I ordered a bunch of packaging materials. I ordered samples of fabrics and a bunch of other stuff that I'm very, very excited about. Currently in the process of draping some stuff and figuring out some designs. I have a lot of ideas of stuff. I have a journal of drawings and whatnot of potential designs and I'm also building my website right now and I'm so so excited. I want to like document the process a bit. I obviously have already started and not documented but I also just really want to kind of show you guys behind the scenes on developing everything and where I'm at with all that. So I'm currently working on the website. I have like a few tabs done. I have my sustainability tab done, my portfolio tab is done, my custom tab is done and my about I think is also done so obviously it would just be the lookbook and shop but I have not finished my design so I can't really do that but there's that in the process I got samples of all of the packaging materials I'm using eco and clothes so that it's all 100% recyclable so these are the poly mailers I have the little stickers that I'm going to be using for the tissue paper and then these little cards that tell you that it's eco-friendly packaging so there's that currently working on a little top that I want to do. I have a dress out of the same fabric right now that is there too and I have some patterns of stuff down there as well. So I just got home and I came home to my package of samples so I just literally just opened it. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for a hot minute now. Oh I'm so excited. I got a lot of samples. I got for five different types of fabrics, but I think that they give you every single color of it. So I think it's like a hundred swatches or something like that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, so I got them all sustainable. So like this is out of tensile, which is that super um, sustainable type of fabric. It, Cause I think it's biodegradable if I am not mistaken, but it comes in a bunch of colors. I found some rib knits, which I really liked as well. These are also tinsel. It comes in a lot of really cute colors back here. I love these little pastels. Then we have this cotton silk. <gasps> oh, this feels nice. Oh, I like that. These are more um, shiny. They have a bit more of a sheen to them. This is recycled polyester. This one's like thicker, like also kind of that satin sheen finish. And then I also got silk organza because I wanted to have some transparency in some of my stuff, which I really like this. These are nice. Also comes in a bunch of different colors. And silk is a very sustainable fabric. Obviously, it's not a vegan fabric because it's made from silk worms, but silk worms do not take much farming. They do not harm the environment at all. So it's very, very low waste in production, which is why I really like it. And obviously, it's a natural material, so there's no synthetic fibers or anything like that, which are also harmful. Obviously, some of these do have synthetic fibers, but if they are synthetic, then they're recycled, so at least you know, it's like a trade-off type of thing. But I'm really excited about these. I'm going to order the fabrics tonight probably, if not tomorrow. But I am so excited to go through these swatches and kind of figure out my color palette and what I want to do with these. So, yay, I'm so excited. So today I ordered my fabric. I am so excited. I ordered for about 15 of each item. 
so that's kind of where we're starting with everything i'm really really hoping that things sell out fast and that i'm able to just like order more and just kind of keep a flow going so that is the goal i hope that works out i'm very excited i think the fabric is supposed to come here between five to seven business days so next week or the next and then i can actually start making stuff and once i make it all in my size and i can take all the pictures and do all the promo video photo stuff which i'm probably gonna have my friend joe help me out with so very excited for that i've been patterning out everything and grading all of my patterns i'm gonna show you guys what that looks like so for example for one of my midi bodycon dresses i have all the sizes right here you can't really tell they kind of all do look the same but this is extra small small medium large extra large which range from size two four six eight ten and i do want to talk about sizing for a bit because i understand that obviously my sizing right now is not very inclusive per se but obviously as a one woman show right now it is very hard to have patterns for every single size readily available so what i'm going to do is like i know that the average person is these sizes so if anybody is above these sizes or below these sizes or anything like that i am all up for making it custom for them for like a very very small fee obviously i can easily grade these patterns up or down if needed but i just don't want to have them all pre-created if they're not going to be used as often i guess so that is kind of where i stand with that right now i'm using the standard industry measurements i didn't make up the measurements myself i'm literally using like my mannequin standard size four is the size small and then I just graded everything from there. So that is what I'm using for it, if you are wondering. So I have that dress done right now. I have the top done. I just need to do the sleeves for it. And I need to do the other dress. So that is what I need to do next. I have the website pretty set up now. I added the three items on there and their descriptions and all that stuff. So really I'm just waiting for the fabric to come in so that I can actually make stuff and go on with that. But as for now, kind of just working on patterns working on stuff for the next collection too of like things that i might want to do in the future especially for the fall and stuff i definitely have a lot of stuff i want to do for that i really love fall and winter fashion so that is my update for today very excited so something i've really been thinking about with my brand is making it zero waste or as zero waste as i possibly can and one of the ways that i really want to do it is with just the fabrics that i already own that i know i'm just never going to make anything out of because a lot of these are just from like old projects it's like my high school taste of style and whatnot and i just would not wear these fabrics anymore and i don't think they're ugly i just like they don't fit my pipe anymore but i don't want to just keep them here to store dust and i don't want to throw them away or really donate them because I know a lot of times half the things we donate just end up in landfills anyway so I really don't want to contribute to that so I want to make use of them and I have a lot of these like stretch knit fabrics like this and this one and I still have like a pretty good amount of fabric left so I'm able to make a lot of strips to make scrunchies out of so I think I'm gonna do that I literally have so many strips for scrunchies right here so i'm very excited to do that and just to go through all of my fabrics and see what else i can make out of them i really just want to take this zero waste opportunity and just be as creative as i can with it as far as with like accessories and stuff like that or maybe incorporating them into my design but i think that that is a really good way to use up fabric also make money help the planet out like it's just a win-win for all of us so that is kind of what i'm doing i'm very excited i think these are going to be cute because i like them as scrunchies i just like wouldn't necessarily wear them as shirts anymore even though i have shirts in both of these fabrics right now but yeah so i'm just gonna go through all the rest of the fabrics i literally have all of these bins full of fabrics that i quite honestly am probably not going to use there's very few that i bought recently that i do plan on using but majority i kind of just use as like trial fabric and this scrap fabric for whenever i need to kind of test something out so i'm excited i think that is going to be a really good initiative to have so i'm working on that i want to have a lot of those ready for when i launch so working on those today i'm furthering my zero waste shipping so this is what we're working with
So I'm testing out making like textiles out of all my scraps and kind of like I kind of don't, I don't really know. I feel like once I actually make it into a jacket, it might look cooler than it does right now. But I'm testing this out and I think it's working out pretty well. And I have a bunch of scraps here, a bunch of scraps in these two bins as well to make more things like this. I have all these cut out for scrunchies. I ordered a bunch of hair elastic so that I can make all of these. I have this whole pile of fabrics I don't really like, don't really think I'm ever going to use because they're too colorful, I don't like patterns, etc. Stuff like that. So I'm going to dye these all black and I think they're going to look really cool once they're more muted. And then I think I want to make some like silk headbands out of these. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go dye these. another thing that Natalia has made. So that kind of rhymed, kind of fun. I am testing out these little like headbands. I've been seeing these a lot lately and I think they're so cute. I've always been such a headband person. Like when I was younger, you would see me in like the giant bow headbands 24 seven. Like I've always loved hair accessories as it is. So I have all these, all the leftover fabrics that I've been using to make other stuff and scrunchies and stuff. I also kind of want to make these headbands with, so. So they would look something like this, which I think is really cute. I like this print for headbands. I don't like it as a print for clothing, to be honest. It's a little much for me, but I think this is like a good amount of like color that gets added to your outfit if you're wearing it. So I think that's really cute. And I'm gonna sell these because I think they're also really cute as like, you can use it as a belt. I mean, I already have a belt on right now and this is gonna get lost in the pattern, but like it's long enough to be a belt with anything that you have or you know when you have a purse and you can just like tie this to it to make it like cute and a decor piece so i think that's really cute and obviously these are simple to make it's like a straight band so i'm gonna make a lot of these because i have this fabric which i really like for these and i also want to use these two fabrics for it because i think they'd be really pretty and they're also that just that type of fabric that i feel like would look best so I'm excited. I really like where that's going. And also I've got my zero waste, it's kind of a vest right now. <laughs> I was gonna put sleeves on it, but I couldn't find enough of the fabric that I wanted for the bigger sleeves that I kind of wanted for it. So that's kind of on hold, but I kind of like it, honestly. I think it looks cool. I think it looks weird. I'm just sitting there, but imagine an all black outfit with this on. I think it looks really cool. Obviously I have to finish it and I think I'm gonna put a collar on it, but I like the texture. I think it looks really cool. So there's that. I think I'm definitely going to use this type of texture technique a lot more with some other zero waste designs that I want to do, but I'm definitely like getting somewhere with this, which I'm excited about. And also have been working on this, this little purse thing I'm working on. That looks cute. This does not look cute, but I figured out how to fix that. So the next one that I make will hopefully turn out better. And obviously I would need to get actual prom mitts because right now it's just like holes that I just cut out and it does not look nice. And I'd probably get actual ribbon or something for it, but I think it's cute as like a little bag, like a little drawstring bag that then I'd attach a chain to. So that'd be a cute little side purse. So that's that. I'm really, really trying to make a lot of stuff with what I already have and just repurposing things because I think that's so important and I just have so many fabrics that I can easily repurpose so I'm trying to be as creative as I can with everything and I really like where it's going so hopefully the next time I update you will have a lot more stuff going hello another day another update so today is June 8th and I got my labels today, which I am so excited about. I was literally tracking this package yesterday. I was like, huh, like I ordered these a while ago. I don't know if they're coming in and I wasn't able to track it and they came in today. So that is super exciting. So I have my little custom labels. So they look like this and I'm just gonna sew them down onto things, but I'm so excited. I think they turned out really cute and really clean. I really just wanted them to look very clean. I feel like my whole aesthetic is just very clean cut minimalist. So I really, really like how these turned out. And then I have all the sizes too. All like the extra small, small, medium, all those little things that I get to put on there, which I'm so excited about. I've literally been making scrunchies all morning long. I have all of these made, all of those to go. So I've been busy making stuff, but I'm very excited. I feel like everything's coming together. I'm finally able to kind of make stuff and be busy and just create, which I'm so excited about. So that is today's update. I feel like my next update will either be 
when my shipping supplies come in or when my fabric comes in. So that is super exciting. Um, I'm just going to be making scrunchies and headbands in the meantime. <laughs>